Joni Ernst, back to women. You know, I, I, I really think more women in politics would be a good thing. I'm not sure, though, that it's always a good thing. And I think Margaret Thatcher is probably the poster child for that. But here's Joni Ernst, uh, the woman whose family took $460,000 in government supports for, far, you know, farmers can get this free money from the government for growing or not growing certain things. Joni Ernst's family took four hundred and six, almost a half a million dollars. And this is what she said about poor people in the United States. What we have to do a better job of is educating not only Iowans, but the American people that they can be self-reliant, self-sufficient. They don't have to rely on the government to be the do-all, end-all for everything they need and desire. And that's what we have fostered, is really a generation of people that rely on the government, it should be who, uh, rely on the government to provide absolutely everything for them. It's going to take a lot of education to get people out of that. It's going to be very painful, and we know that. Really? Painful? In other words, you want to like just cut people off? It's going to be painful, and we know that. So we have to... So we so do we have the intestinal fortitude to do that? Question mark. And she goes on to say, we're looking at Obamacare right now. Once we start those benefits in January, she said this about a year ago, how are we going to get people off of those? It's exponentially harder to remove people once they're already been on the program. We rely on government for absolutely everything. Well, no, that's a wild exaggeration. I've never bought a car from government. I've never bought a, a, a meal from government. Actually, when I was six or seven years old, when my family, when dad was selling encyclopedias door to door, we used to get government surplus cheese. In any case, Joni Ernst. And in the years since I was a small girl up until now into my adulthood with children of my own, we have lost a reliance on not only our own families, but so much of what our churches and private organizations used to do. They used to have wonderful food pantries. They used to provide clothing for those who really needed it. But we've gotten away from that. Now we're at the point where the government will give just about anything away. Uh, Joni, hate to burst your bubble, but the food pantries are still there. And uh, to the tune of about $5 billion a year worth of giving away things, and the, and the Salvation Armies and, and, and all those other the secondhand stores and whatnot, they're still there. And they're not enough. Because the rules of capitalism were changed during this thing called Reaganomics to favor big corporations and rich people, and to disfavor working people, to move our jobs overseas, to, to bring profits back to the United States, and to financialize industry. So that, you know, the captains of industry are sitting around, around trying to figure out how to jack up their share prices so they can take, uh, you know, a larger chunk of money when they cash in their stock options. They're far more concerned with that than how to manufacture a new product that's going to stimulate the economy and produce jobs in the United States. It's a real tragedy. And then we get the lectures about morality, about the morality of taking things from government, from someone whose family took $460,000 from the government. It's bizarre.